All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Mr. Mill and welcome to the Drawing Mill. Now for today's video, we're gonna be reading uh, The Pigeon Has to Go to School by Mo Willems and then we're gonna do an art project based on it. So let's get going. All right, so the book is called The Pigeon Has to Go to School and he kind of has a little bit of an attitude but um, that's okay because we're gonna read it and see what he learns. So let's get going. So let's see if you guys can see it, as yes, you guys can. All right, here we go. Wait, don't read that title. The pigeon has to go to school. Too late, rats. Why do I have to go to school? I already know everything. Go on, ask me a question. Any question? I read that weird. <laughs> well, I know almost everything. Does school start in the morning? Because you know what I'm like in the morning. It's not pretty. I wish I was a little chick again. A little itty bitty not going to school baby wavy pigeon. What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like it? What if I really, really don't like it? What if... <gasps> what if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? And the stuff. What about all the stuff? There's so much stuff to learn. What if I learn too much? My head might pop off. I'm scared. What will happen at school? What if there is math or numbers? Why does the alphabet have so many letters? Reading can be hard with one big eye. What about lunch? What will the other birds think of me? Will finger paint stick to my feathers? What's up with those heavy backpacks? I'm a fragile bird. The unknown stresses me out, dude. There should be a place to practice those things with experts to help you and other birds to work and play with and books and classrooms, maybe a playground. Oh, that is school? Well, how am I supposed to get there anyway? Was a wa wa wa? Step aside, coming through. The pigeon has to go to school. All right, and that's the book. So, anyways, uh, that was the pigeon book. I think we did this last uh, semester with uh, kindergarten, but um, you guys are new, so we're gonna do it again. So this is called uh, Mo Willem's Pigeon, and he has a specific way how to draw it. So this is my copy from a couple years ago, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of tweaking to make it look a little bit better, and to make sure that we're doing as much as we can to make it look cool too. So before we start, we're gonna try to draw um, a couple things. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and preferably an eraser. If you wanna have color, you can have color too. So let's get going. So the first thing you wanna notice is the head. The head is a shape of a circle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it in a good spot. Now look what happens. If you place it right above, um, the pigeon has a really long body. So what you don't wanna do is put it right in the middle. That's a bad spot. So the best spot to put the head is towards the left or the right. So I'm gonna put mine towards the left. So I'm gonna put it right about here. And it's about the size of mm, an Oreo cookie. All right, so next step, I'm gonna draw the eye. And my eye is gonna be the size of like a quarter. If you wanna trace a quarter, you can. And then to make it look like a tired eye, or you can do any eye you want, I'm gonna make mine tired though. I'm gonna split it in half, and then put kind of like a half circle in the middle. And if you wanna color that in, you can. Now, my pigeon's gonna be a little bit tired, just like how this one is. So I'm gonna create a little duct underneath. And then for the beak, it's just gonna be a small triangle with a line, just like that. All right, now for the neck. I'm gonna go not down all the way like this, like straight up and down. I'm gonna kind of angle it a little bit. So one line's gonna go like that, one line's gonna go like that. Now for the stripe, it's just two lines to create the one stripe, just like that. 
And then the body. The body is kind of like a boat. So you want to draw a line right here, going straight. And then a curved line for the rest of the body. Now for the wing, wing super simple. I, I made mine stick out over here. For this one, I'm just going to keep it inside the body. Just like that. Super simple, right? Now for the feet, you can have the feet any way you want. You can have the feet standing, laying down. I'm going to have mine standing a tad bit, just like this. And just like that. Pretty simple, right? So, if you want the pigeon to say something, just like how it is in the book, these are called something specific. These are called speech bubbles. Speech bubbles are to direct uh, who is talking and from which direction. So you need an arrow of some sort and the bubble to put the word in. So if you want to add a speech bubble, all you gotta do is point to where the speech bubble is coming from and then a nice big oval. You can put any words you want. So what I'm gonna put is my own stuff but you can put anything you want in the inside of that. So I'm gonna put the word, let's go Huskies, cause we are the Huskies. So what I'm gonna do is write down the word let's, and then go right here, and then Huskies. And then exclamation point to emphasize, I'm kind of shouting it out. Now, um, he kind of looks tired cause of that. So I might change it up a little bit. So we'll go from there. Let's see if you guys can see it. So it's a little bit hard to see. I apologize. I should have done this as a marker first, but it's all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the video and then I'll see you guys when I'm close to done. All right, so let's get going. I just finished my drawing. As you can see, I did tweak it a little bit to emphasize uh, what he's saying. So he is saying, let's go Husky. But when he says, let's go Husky, he's not saying like kind of like a tired manner. His mouth isn't closed and his eyes aren't tired. So what I did is that I changed the wings to make sure it looks like this when he's saying it. And also, so his mouth is open and he has more of a better expression on his face. So anyways, that's how I draw a pigeon. If you'd like to follow along, um, to slow it down a little bit. But um, I think that was pretty easy. And I think that was pretty good, right? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.